or whatever off it um, here in the next couple weeks. Right. Uh, I want to get into just some, some standard half guard passing first. And to do it, we might as well practice getting off our back. Okay? So we're going to start on mount. Person on the bottom is going to do their elbow escape. Remember, he's going to pick one side, hands on the hip, elbow stays on top of my knee. What I see a lot is people start pushing on that knee and they'll start pushing the knee outwards, right? His goal is to push my foot down past his, his knee here, right? And if he's pushing outwards, I can windshield wiper my knee out and my foot doesn't actually move. Does that make sense? So he wants to make sure when he's doing this, he's tripping, he's making this frame on my hip and he's pushing my knee down his body. That should cause me to fall down making my foot light, right? He's gonna hook that ankle, pull it in between his legs. As soon as my knee starts to come off the ground, his elbow stays there, he pulls the bottom leg out. Now he plants it on the ground and trims. Bam, he's already got the underhook. He's gonna frame on my opposite arm so I can't lay him back down. Simple enough. Cool. One more time. One other thing I've found is very helpful. The opposite leg, so whichever one you have flat, if you take a, like a six inch step out and use that as your shrimp, It'll help you get onto your side. He's not trying to push me, bench press me down his body. He's trying to curl his body into a ball, right? So I got to try to balance on a ball. Make sense? Cool. One more time. Elbow frame, foam, gets that leg down. I'm going to fall. That'll make my knee light. He shrimps, bam, right? Just get to that position. Either controlling my bicep or hand on your forehead. Under hook is nice and low, right? Not up by the shoulders. It's around my hips. Pinkies up because we're fancy, right? Don't stop here. Yes? One, two, three. 